Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's July 12th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of July 12th, 2024, Forum Energy Technologies is currently sitting at a value of $16.19 per share. Opal Fuels Incorporated is up to $4.25 per share. Black Hills Core is currently sitting at a value of $57.77 per share. Nextera themselves is up to $76.39, while Brookfield Renewable Core is currently sitting at a value of $31.19 per share. But first up, moving into the news, Waggett Energy is poised to make some big moves in the RNG space in the near future, as the renewable natural gas firm has secured a corporate syndicated loan of 100 million euros from a consortium of five banking groups. The company said this so-called green loan will be used to finance projects that contribute to climate change mitigation in accordance with the European Green Taxonomy aligning with decarbonization challenges. However, they went on to say it will also accelerate Wagga Energy's international development, particularly within the U.S., and strengthen the company's financial structure. Wagga Energy's deputy CEO even said, quote, Raising this financing at the level of the group parent company illustrates the confidence of our banking partners in the project steered by Wagga Energy to serve energy transition. It further reinforces our balance sheet and confirms the strength of our business model based on the construction and operation of assets generating highly predictable cash flows, end quote. And speaking of their continued expansion into the U.S., we're sticking with WAGA Energy for a few seconds as the company has just secured a new partnership with OCI Global to produce biomethane at the Beaumont, Texas landfill site. The project will involve installing a system that captures gases emitted from the decomposition of organic waste. These gases will then be converted into biomethane by the company's WAGA box unit and injected into the local gas network. The unit will be constructed and operated by WAGA Energy while OCI Global will own the biomethane production. Waga Energy said the unit is scheduled to be operational by 2025 and it will prevent the emission of 27,440 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year, which is equal to the emissions of 2.8 million gallons of gasoline, according to the standards of the U.S. EPA. Waga Energy CEO Guanel Prince even said, quote, We are thrilled to partner with OCI Global, a visionary leader in low-carbon solutions and a pioneer in the use of renewable natural gas for decarbonizing feedstock industries. This project at the City of Beaumont landfill is innovative not only because of cutting-edge technology and the utilization of cryogenics, but also for the transformative business model we're introducing to OCI Global as a provider of landfill gas upgrading services. Services, end quote. And up next, amid growing concerns over PFAS chemicals, the EPA has granted a petition through several organizations to address per- and polyfluoralkyl substances formed during the fluorination of plastic containers, specifically substances referred to as PFOA, PFNA, and PFDA. These PFAS have been found in plastic containers used for a variety of household consumer items, pesticides, fuel, automotive, and other industrial products. These chemicals build up in our bodies and the environment over time. Even in small amounts, they can significantly contribute to people's long-term exposure and health risk for cancers, as well as impacts to the liver and heart and immune and developmental damage to infants and children. By granting this petition, the EPA stated that it will promptly commence an appropriate proceeding under TSCA Section 6. The EPA intends to request information, including the number, location, and uses of fluorinated containers in the U.S., alternatives to the fluorination process that generates these substances, and measures to address the risk from the chemicals formed during the fluorination of plastic containers. 
And up next, Plan ET Biogas USA Incorporated has reached a record number of plant completions in a 12-month period, having completed 12 projects across the United States over the last year. All 12 projects utilize Plan ET's anaerobic digestion technology, and 10 of those facilities also feature the company's Stateron RNG upgrading tech as well. Derek Hunder, the president of Plan ET Biogas, said, quote, We take great pride in every plant we bring online and are thrilled with the progress we have made, together with our various clients, to bring these 12 plants to fruition over the last 12 months. End quote. Currently, Plan ET has a total of 33 facilities online operating with the company's digesters, 23 of which are anaerobic digestion to renewable natural gas plants. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Next, Global NRG Advisory, a consulting firm in the energy sector, has announced the launch of Global NRG Renewables, a dedicated platform focused on the development of renewable natural gas projects. This initiative marks a significant step in the company's ongoing commitment to sustainable energy solutions and carbon footprint reduction according to the organization. The inaugural project under Global NRG Renewables will be developed in Louisville, Kentucky, within the United States. This facility will convert organic waste into renewable natural gas, providing a cleaner, renewable source of energy for the local community. And up next, Carbon Naxion Bioenergies Incorporated was recently awarded the combined financial support of nearly $350,000 from provincial and federal governments to study an innovative clean energy project in Quebec, being one of the first of its kind in Canada. According to the company, this money will go toward a feasibility study of a project aimed at producing third-generation renewable natural gas, so-called 3G RNG, which will be obtained by combining biogenic carbon dioxide from a landfill site with green hydrogen using innovative biocatalytic methanation technology developed by German firm Electrokea. To carry out this study, Carbon Naxion will be working with both Electrokea as well as Energier Development Incorporated. The quantity of greenhouse gases avoided through this project is estimated at 3,000 tons per year. This project will support the decarbonization of Energier's gas network and help Quebec to achieve its objective of gradually increasing the volume of RNG in the natural gas distribution network to a minimum of 10% starting in 2030. And up next, specialty paper supplier Lecta recently announced an agreement with Naturegy, a multinational energy group, for the supply of renewable gas that will contribute to the sustainable decarbonization of its manufacturing activity. This biomethane gas will now be used as an energy source in Lecta's Spanish mills in Leitza and Zaragoza. The company said, quote, The renewable gas supplied by Naturegy has certified guarantees of origin and sustainability tests that assure LECTA of the reduction of emissions derived from our industrial activity and the fulfillment of the sustainability commitments set in our 2030 agenda. This collaborative effort and commitment to the use of renewable energy is one more step the company has taken toward protecting the environment, combating climate change, and promoting the circular economy. End quote. And lastly, moving to Florida, Nepetro Renewables is building the state's second ever landfill gas to renewable natural gas facility in Indian River County, with plans to launch in January 2025 and scale to 400,000 metric meter BTUs later that year. The company, which built its first fueling station for heavy-duty trucking fleets in 2011, now owns and operates 15 distribution sites across Florida. However, the Indian River project in Vero Beach will be its first production plant. 
Jorge Herrera, the CEO of Nepetro, said, quote, We've been sourcing our RNG from third parties for years. It made sense to begin producing it ourselves and distributing it through our own infrastructure. End quote. And that has been your news roundup for July 12th, 2024, brought to you by Recyclist, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.